Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. It's almost one. No, it's twelve thirty. It's twelve fifty-seven. Yes, it's almost one. We're at Epcot. We're meeting Chelsea and Cole for some food and wine. But look at this amazing feat of strategy that Disney has. This is the other side of the Epcot parking lot. They've got a double, like a double decker, almost attached gas truck. They've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of utility trucks here. So. That right there is a gas truck, which I'm assuming they're using to fill up all of these these utility trucks. Yeah. I mean, they've got a whole fleet of workers, which is amazing. Thank you, too. Which is amazing when it comes to how fast the cleanup has been for the parks overall. And you can tell it's, a, it's like there's multiple different companies here too, so the the ability to work together is amazing. So, there she is. Yes! What do you do when you uh, live through your first actual hurricane living in Florida? You go to Disney World. And not only that, you enjoy some food and wine as a treat, and you finally concede. I have been beaten. What? I've been beaten. Why? The Florida sun has conquered me. It's too hot to wear a hat. So I'm finally giving in. Conquered my first hurricane. Time to wear sunglasses. So. We're soaking up Peter's last day off of work. <laughs> yeah. And really my last day off of work too. Yeah. We still don't have internet, so we've been using our phones. Kind of in a pain. Yes. Um, but. But things could be louder. Yes, they definitely could be. And um, our internet didn't turn back on today, but what did turn on today was our fire alarms. Yeah. Uh, around uh, 10.30 in the morning, our, just all of our fire alarms started going off like crazy. No fire. Um, it was just like a fluke in the system, but it took like, yeah, only our apartment. But it took like an hour for somebody to come over and what they did is just unplugged them all. So like, oh, we'll come back and check these later, which I'm like, I don't believe it's very safe, but it's okay. Sarah, Sarah hates change, and it's not the exact same that she remembers. So <laughs> this is the thing is, like, I feel like before there was like a lot of sauce. Yeah. Was, like the sauce that was True. really good. I was expecting a lot more sauce. Oh, we found Chelsea and Cole. They survived the hurricane, and we're all in a sunglass club now. <laughs> right. I don't want any more. Got a little kick to it. It does. How was that? Amazing. Sarah? Oh. That, <laughs> the beef brisket from America is top three best things I've ever had food and wine. And that is a tall order, but it was good. So good. Chelsea, what'd you think of the hummus fries? That were more like a block. They're good. I've had them before. I really like them. And what are you drinking there? Fresh. This is a Mimosa Royale. Mimosa Royale. Ooh. Is it's it good? Mimosa with orange liqueur. Oh, that sounds good. It's steamy out, guys. It is a steamy, steamy day out. I think I should show you guys my back sweat at, the, at like the 3 o'clock. <laughs> yes. At like 3 p.m., we'll show you how sweaty my back is. There's a hole in this cake. <laughs> Can you ask them for some more chocolate mousse? <laughs> They had a whole big tube of it oh, too. Oh really? Okay. I'm just going to squeeze it into your mouth. <laughs> Chocolate. You want to make another Mamma Mia? No. Oh, oh Peter watched Mamma Mia. Like yesterday. a movie? Yeah. Like with Meryl? Yep. And Amanda? Oh, you're gonna love that. Yeah? We heard scary rumors that the park was going to be packed because of everybody being cooked up in the resorts. Being able to go in the parks now. But Chelsea, what are we going on for the first time? Frozen Never After! She's never gone on this and she's a Frozen fanatic. Look at that alliteration. Frozen fanatic, but Tangled's still the best. <laughs> Tangled, nothing beats that. There's Chelsea's fro. Ooh, Tangle tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Zesty cheeseburger. Oh wow, there's like yes, stuff. yes. So it's like a cheeseburger in this and macaroni and macaroni in this cone. And this, this is our first thing that we've doubled up on. We so. first station. We haven't had this yet. Yeah. But this is 550 and it's huge. Yeah. And this is heavy. It's very. Did you try it? Mm -hmm. Very zesty, right? Zesty. Very good. And look at these two got the the eastern and western flights, right? East West, baby. East West, Florida. Filled with good beers. We 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 figured since Irma hit both coasts, they'd get both flights. <laughs> That's good. What That's, is a if you know what a gu guia bear is, Drop put it, it in the comments. Put it down below. <laughs> I'm a sucker for raspberry. I know. What one? Tell you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> It's gonna be so cold. It's probably gonna be super cold. Be careful. There's liquid nitrogen cooled chocolate almond truffle with warm whiskey caramel on it. It's super good. We'll look at it like busting apart because it's super cold. Yeah. Tasty? And the crumbliness on top. What is the crumbliness? Is that the almond? Woo! What'd you get, Cole? Mmm. Dark chocolate raspberry torte. Ooh. Looks like a tasty treat. Ooh. So we didn't show you guys what we really should stop at the Epcot Lounge. Got my like 27th coffee? My 27th free no. coffee. Um, <laughs> but I don't know what kind it is, but it's up there. Cole snagged us some fast passes for Soren. And we decided to do this is Concourse C. Yep. Concourse C, which is like the newest concourse that they built, so I'm hoping it's. I mean, the, the new projectors look amazing, but and they all should be brand new. Yeah, so then maybe we'll all get pollen in our eyes and start getting teary. <laughs> <laughs> Caramel cappuccino that I promised I'd get her. 
It's really old. And we specifically didn't, when we were at Epcot, we didn't go to that, um, that Starbucks because we knew we were coming here. But. Oh, okay. Well, look, this is the first bit of merchandise we've seen here with 2018 on it. So 2018 attractions poster calendar and the 16 month. Wow. 2018, the year to be here. Super cool. Okay, someone please message Sarah and tell her that we have to go to Wolfgang Puck when it opens up and to the, the bar at Coca-Cola because this one looks beautiful. Two. We, I've always wanted to go hang out here. Going where? Look at that, she, just, she cares so little about it, she wasn't even paying attention. Coca-Cola? Yeah. We go in there all No, I want to go hang out at the bar. You know? I love this. You do love this place. Look at this, this saxophone player over here. Just having a good old time. Wait, there he is. We've been home for a few hours now. We decided to come home and try to enjoy the last few hours of our long um, time off from work because I go back to the office tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But it's already Wednesday and we have a, uh, a really close friend visiting. If you've seen a our, really close friend, if you've watched our other channel, um, our friend Matt, who is part of the Fat 5207, is arriving here in Orlando tomorrow for the weekend. We haven't even been able to really get excited about it. I know, and it's snuck up because of everything yeah. going on. Um, so I'll be very excited to go to work because when I get off work, Hello, yeah. I'll come home, get Sarah, and we'll go, we'll go see Matt, Yay. who lives in Chicago. We have already had the realization that we will be going to Food & Wine two more days this week. Yeah. So please let Matt. us know down below what you'd like to see. Future World, Food & Wine, <laughs> rides. Just a spicy and, and so Yeah, not something just a little different. Food I mean, like, wine. Food & Wine is delicious and everybody, you know... Everybody loves Food & Wine. wine. But just let us know. And with that, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>